All right, after The Queen's Gambit premiered on Netflix, a lot of people suddenly had an interest in chess. Yes, but for one local teen, he already loved chess long before that show came out. In fact, he loves chess so much, he kept pursuing a career in it even after some very intense health problems. Are you ready, my friend? Well, let's start with the basics. Okay. Uh, this is a horse. Okay. Griffin here obviously knows more than the okay. basics of chess. He's actually a few weeks removed from becoming the Scholastic State Champ. But he's also only a few years removed from having to relearn the basics of life. It's weird to think that he's walking around with basically half a brain. When he was five, Griffin started having seizures. And at seven years old, he had to have two brain surgeries to remove the parts of his brain where they seemed to be isolated. But when that didn't stop them, at age eight, surgeons had to disconnect the entire left hemisphere of his brain. He had to learn everything over again. He had to learn how to walk, uh, how to talk, and he has what they call a helper hand. Are you ready? But guess what came back the easiest? It was Griffin's biggest passion, ever since his dad first taught him how to play at four years old. I learned how to do chess more than I wanted to walk or talk. He was still paralyzed on his right side, um, but he, before he was even verbal, he was pointing at the chess set and we were playing over his hospital bed. But a few years later, once again, the seizures returned. And for Griffin, who had a goal of becoming a national master, he was getting tired of how they were getting in the way of his dreams. In some of the games I was winning, and then after the seizure happened, I would lose the game. So you're saying you'd be in the middle of a chess game, have a seizure, and then go back to playing the game? Yeah. But there was one last surgery he could have called a hemispherotomy, which he opted to undergo in February of last year. And now at 17, not only has he not had a seizure since... I knew right away um, that my thinking was better. He can think clearly again. And a year later, he is now a national master, and like I mentioned, he recently won the Scholastic State Championship. He also even takes time to play lesser opponents. Is it over? Yes, I believe so. Now he and his younger brother Sullivan, who is also a former state champ, are starting their own YouTube channel about chess. Where's the checkmate? And Griffin and his father have started their own nonprofit called Chess Abilities Inc. to help other people with disabilities play the sport. They're even starting a tournament this summer. Hopefully that will be an inspiration for all the kids with any kind of disability that will know that it's okay. It's okay to, to be different, but still have the same level of competition, still be even. What an inspiration. <laughs> I'm still yes. cracking up at you, sweating. He, this is true. He, he beat me. He double-checked and checkmated me. Oh, not and he said close. that's incredibly rare to beat somebody that badly. <laughs> In like five minutes, he did yes. that. He beat me twice, too. Congratulations. That was three minutes. Yeah, I guess so, um, but he's obviously a, a great kid. And their tournament is called the North American Chess Cup for Children with Disabilities, and they need more sign-ups. It's for all levels of chess prowess, so please don't be shy. It's more of a socialization event. They just want to get people together and enjoy a sport that he loves. We'll have information for you on our website on the denverchannel.com.